Okay. We've all emotionally recovered from what happened there. Time to go back to Brant. Also time to go back to not wearing goofy ass clothes. The mask might stay. Hit. Hit. There we go. Go. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, stop us. That's creating now. I'm done. There, there we go. Fine, predicament. Ooh. I think we're, got, we're getting pretty close to the coronation to at this point. The law is to be thrown in jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us. Should the time come? Why are they discussing jail so much? I just... This game has almost no crimes. The stealing isn't a crime. Almost nothing counts as a crime, honestly. It's just being in a masquerade when you're not when you're not dressed. <laughs> it's, the, it's like the one crime in the game. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Okay, it's not just me. I'm bad with names in fantasy games sometimes, so I was a little self-conscious, but you don't know who he is either. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. All I know is that he looks like Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. So the false sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Phasus fellow are all working together? It's quite the sordid trio, eh? I just made myself sad. Odd. Remember when Bronn of the Blackwater was a good character? Instead of what happened by the end? Let's see. Melv sometimes. Archer Staff somewhere. Keep an eye on the beggar if you hate in yourself and don't value your time. Wait, what? Dress formally and speak with Captain Brant. Wait, did this quest break? Uh, um, let's dress formally again and see if I can unbreak the quest. The, the game, even the game, was like, "Hey, this is now your primary objective. You should you should dress formally and speak to Captain Brent. Maybe it's for a different quest." There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Maybe I should just commit to the coronation before I move elsewhere into the region. Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Okay, so maybe I should complete any existing quests because it's giving me the vague you're in trouble thing. Very well. Pray inform me when your preparations are complete. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve I think the game bugged though. It's like. Maybe? The coronation is the perfect opportunity to expose Deesus. Eh. Okay, no, the Feast of Deception is the coronation quest now. I thought that was the. I thought that was what they called the ball one. Maybe it became the same through line. It's fine. Alright, Jade Orbit is. Sounds like I should do every quest I can before I continue, just in case, but it's hard to say. It is hard to say. All I know is that my, my bikini armor is incomplete and I, I need ex additional resources. Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. We unfortunately have a bit of a issue throughout games, which it used to be that you had point of no returns that happened with no warning and you just had to save frequently and be ready. 
and uh, react accordingly. Nowadays, we like overwarn a little bit, so you don't. We warn, but in non specific ways, so you don't always know what it means. On some level, the games are probably trying not to be full of spoilers and be like, ah, this is the part where this happens, and so on. But it does mean that the message is often not very helpful. Put away this stuff because it weighs me down. Hey, they're fine. Like one of the things that's fascinating to me is that, like, 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 well, well, as a as a baseline, like you have something like Elden Ring. You have the moment where you can light the tree on fire, and that's part of the main story. It has to happen at some point, but that's a huge world state that will fail a bunch of quests. And the question in many of these cases is whether or not is whether or not that's what you're dealing with. Uh... Because, like, in Baldur's Gate, it took us ages to even figure out what the point of no return message meant. Because when you're leaving Act 1's starting zone, and it's like, Ah, would you like to leave? Let's check out these directions. You, uh, you, would you like to do the underground or the overground path? As you're starting, as you're going to the door for either of those uh, paths, the game says, uh, This is the point of no return. There's a big pop-up and so on. Like, oh no, dang, if you go here, you can't come back. But actually, if you go either of those directions, you can just finish all of the story content in that path after the point of no return, then just go back, because it actually wasn't a point of no return. And then you can do the other path. You can rather nonsensically do the underground path and the overland path. And you should, because there's like companion stuff for for various companions in both mut seemingly mutually exclusive paths. So like, the game signals that they're mutually exclusive, but then they're just not. And it's just a very strange use of a point of no return pop-up that lies to you. bad dog but what the game is not communicating with you is that actually uh, taking the left or right path functionally has no impact on your exploration and your ability to go the other path and change your mind but the moment you set foot on either of them you instantly progress I think every I think I think what happens behind the scenes is that every companion storyline fast forwards or proceeds to the act two part of its storyline so if you haven't done a bunch of behind the scenes things in your camp before that point, then you lose a bunch of content, but only behind the scenes in a way that's really hard to parse and not in the forward in, and on the obvious way of like you doing main quest stuff or can you go left or right? Very strange. So akin to that kind of stuff, when I get a message like this, I'm like, ah, be sure to do stuff or whatever. I'm like, cool. What does that mean, though, Could in reality? Could the cenotaph? I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since t'was erected. If I cannot dissuade you from pressing onward, perhaps you'd consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aughts are right with it. The struggle is that, in many cases, you just kind of have to look up spoilers in order to know. And that's just unfortunate. Could it be your if I cannot dissuade? This guy has a pack, but he's not a key. He's not a shop. You. Here like, already. You're probably a shop. Traveling by. Pray, sir, seek out the Jadeite Orb for me. My life. Nope. That's for words. Jadeite Orb person. All right. So the last lead we had is that we need to investigate the scrap place, which and we and it's supposed to be somewhere in this. Town. What am I supposed to do about it? Might try my hand at the sword and staff. Greetings, sir, and welcome to the sword and staff. We see a great many customers given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the ale runs dry. The sword and staff is, in fact, also not a shop. <laughs> it's a it's a tavern. The sword and staff is open for business. Of course. I still don't. I'm so confused by the, this game being full of tavern keepers that have a talk option, and the talk option doesn't have any gossip or interesting flavor text. It's always like, "I'm a tavern keeper." That's it. 
he went through the effort. The things that video games go through the effort of writing and voicing nowadays is like amazing, honestly. It's, it's hilarious because you're like, he didn't say anything. It used to be only the most important lines got that treatment because there was so much writing in one of these games that who would ever voice all of it? And now we've reached untold levels of extravagance. They're voicing garbage lines that mean nothing. Ooh. Oh, I guess that's a little storytelling. It's dried fruit, because they dry their fruit on the roof, I guess. That, that, that makes sense. I'm just right back to pillaging their entire the entire neighborhood again. Whoa, I climbed stairs wrong. <laughs> I I mantled stairs. I don't know how you do that, but there's a lot of like sort of procedural platforming stuff going on that pulls off some wild stuff. Where are you going? This is an interestingly shaped town. There's a whole main road that goes up there. We'll put that off. Not much has changed since I was a girl. Save myself. Not much has changed since I was a girl, save myself. That's got big I just wanna die anywhere else energy. If only I could die anywhere else. Aha! You can't defeat me with your sloped roofs. There's a vocation guild. Don't need one right now, but it's good to not have to commute all the way back to the capital. Especially as we get further away. Welcome, sir. If you've a change after all, it is folly to linger on a single vote. Okay? When there are. Don't think anyone is leveled. Nope. So many excite always a pleasure. Well met, son. He does have my hair. Why? Peruse at your left, sir. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'm not getting out that way. I'm too tall. Do you not have stairs that go down? Well met, son. How might I be of service? How does no one normally leave this business? You go up to leave? Hmm, it's a building you enter from the top. Or do you? I climbed here on a roof. Uh... Wait, no, sincere question. How do you get in and out of this building as a normal person who is not me? Especially since that's how I'll get in and out normally. Okay, it must be down here somewhere. It must be... I must be missing something because of the camera. I could jump out the window. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> uh, listen, it's an indoor third-person camera. I can only accept so much of the blame. Have you need of me? I have no idea. What do you sell? Reckon your road's been a long one. No use hiding it. I've seen my share of weary countenances. Trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here, at least, you'll find a bit of peace and quiet. Mm, Pleasure the, doing business with you. This is the shopkeeper. Interested Not the shop, the, in the innkeeper. So the inn and the tavern are tied to each other again. The vocation guild's also right there. Oh, there's a weapon maker. Well, hello there, sir. What can I do you for? Not that I really need to ask. Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons. Particularly near the border, where quarrels occur every other day. I want a big gut sword. 
You still have got the all mace is a scimitar. <laughs> That's confusing as a name. <laughs> the bespoke bow, but the veteran's arc. Oh, that looks better. Let's see. Uh huh. Yeah, it's going to be 20, 26 more damage base level, and then it'll be more as it gets upgraded. But first, we should check to see if there's a better one for me. Life Taker. Well, that's a bigger sword. I Crusher. Oh, I wanted to be the giant sword guy. Oh, that's, a, that's another giant sword. The Flamberge. That's the best one. I get to stick with giant swords. I wanted to be the bigger sword, though, because guts. But this one does 60 more damage, so... And it has more knockdown power. Yeah, there's no upside to this one, as far as I can find. Well, time to blow all of my money. Goodbye, two-hander. You were... You existed. Well, I'm out of money, but it comes back quickly, usually. Let's see, does this person sell... Probably sell the type of staff I need. Is this the archer staff? I think that's the... Yeah. So if I want if I want to finish the quest for being able to learn the, the next spellcaster class, I think I just need to buy one of these. But I still might find one. I'll prioritize getting Leon an upgrade because I'm not even going to use it. Leather eye patch. Just if you want to be a rad dude. It's even the it's even the correct eye for my Blythe cosplay. That's the the winky eye that he's got the scar under. But covering it up doesn't add to that. I don't really want better helms because that means I need to stop using this one. See, this is it's only 16 more defense. It's not that much stronger. game's trying to make me wear clothes. Honestly, criminal. Oh, that's the example they use when you're picking your class. I think. At least it's the same spiked breastplate. You can't wear these, but you can wear that. There's better archer gear. How come almost no RPGs do the MMORPG thing where you can have a a separate set of gear that's your cosmetics. Dauntless Greaves. <laughs> Once again, this is an increase in armor. My lo <laughs> my fucking loincloth has as much armor as armor. And now this <laughs> this increases my armor <laughs> it's just they're just briefs they're just leather briefs <laughs> oh my goodness this video game uh, this is a beautiful video game uh, I, need, I need 17 grand to, to buy it though which is a lot oh my goodness at least thigh highs Oh, the equal opportunity, clearly designed for women armor. <laughs> this is not an upgrade, but it is usable by everybody. Let's see, what can you use? Little folk. This is a completely absurd video game. Oh, okay. Ring of Tenacity, maximum stamina, capacity, uh, sleep value. Let's see, how much can I reasonably sell? This stuff's useless, but I can use it to make lantern fuel. That's also not worth much. Oops, wrong inventory. Damn, okay. 
I probably should be holding on to these and actually using them on boss fights would be the smart thing to do. So I probably shouldn't sell off all the ones that boost my strength. But it's tempting to sell them when they're worth that much. Although, I guess it looks chunky from here, but quests give you like 10 grand each, and selling all of those will only give me like 3.5k. So it's still garbage. It's not good. Yeah, I'll just gotta, I just gotta be patient and do some storylines, and I'll have what I need soon enough. Upgrade the flamberge. That's 20 damage for, and it doesn't even require parts. Now I need red wolf fangs. So we have a target. Astrocyte, freakish mane, and red wolf fangs to upgrade these pieces of gear. Always a pleasure. Our Since you are heavier. And our purse is far lighter. Since you have to look at your character all game in these games. The travels can hardly be called extravagant. Oi, you there! Ah! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? Since you have to look at your character all game long in these games, I can't help but on some level feel like a, a solid reward is just being able to gather an increasing supply of cosmetic appearances and then being like, that's the one I want, and I want to look like that. I think that's often more rewarding than the idea of just being like, oh, this this gear gives you 3% slash defense. Mm, you better wear it all the time. It looks horrible. And it's like, that's progression. Uh, like, there's a reason why fashion souls took off so well, which is that when people play Dark Souls, armor isn't even that strong in those games, and it's largely, and it's kind of analogous. Like, you take so much damage that wearing better gear often doesn't feel worth it, and people trend towards wanting to dodge roll anyway. So people just wear the gear they think looks neat the whole game a lot of the time and just stick with that. And uh, yeah, honestly, based. <laughs> that's just, that's better than borderlandsing it and, and like grinding to get the best stats. And so I, I, the, getting away with that is more satisfying than not getting away with it. I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Raj. He's gone missing. Pray tell. Have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Roger's been abducted by Beast. W -w what? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. It's incredible I walked in right when this was about to happen. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? D -d do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? It's okay. I'll I'll be fine. Anyway, Please, are you, oh, stranger. The, the apothecary. Oh, I can't. Please, stranger. I can't vendor. Bring my Raj back. All right. Well, let's go help Raj because this might be a uh, timed quest, and he might die if you don't help out. It's always a little hard to say. Are these guys going to help? Wait, why is it highlighting this spot? Did I fuck up at selecting it? Raj, the apothecary's grandson, has fallen prey to a pack of wolves. Speak to the townsfolk to find out where the... Okay, we still need to figure out where they are. Where are you going? Probably not you. Have you heard the rumors? The residents of a small village to the north are said to have perished overnight. That's bad. There was no warning, no apparent cause. But one morning, they were all discovered dead. Every last one. Of course, such rumors are best taken with a grain of salt. Some peddler might have made it up to increase sales. Shame there aren't as many folks spinning tall tales in the tavern of late. I rather enjoyed hearing the one about the Gigantus. Have you heard it? Tis said to descend in times of conflict, scattering friend and foe alike, and leaving only death and ruin in its wake. Well, this is obviously coming up. Sounds like the last thing we need, doesn't it? We, we already were told about the Gigantus from that one old man on the beach. I got nothing for ye. 
Okay. It isn't my way to gossip with the citizenry. I'm not gossiping. I'm trying to find where the missing dying person is. What brings you here? Uh huh. If you see old untoward, pray inform me. I'm asking you about that. Good day, sir. Pray, sir, seek out the jadeite orb. That's for where to uh -huh, look. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of I need. I do not. Master. Not you. Not you. All Him. You need of me. Please, somebody have answers. How might I aid you, sir? I'm sorry. Did I just hear a wolf? Is that the trick? Not a foe in sight. But I heard a growl. Take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Now this is a conundrum. Briefly thought, like, is the answer just that the wolves are like right behind the wall? Could it be aught's befallen the cenotaph? If I cannot dissuade you, they're quite a few. Strange that, considering some say Vermond was a beast-run kingdom in bygone days. Mayhap you've seen those headless statues on roads and such. Tell is, they're meant to be depictions of a beast-run ruler. Mm. Couldn't tell you whether any of that's true or not, mind. Tis simply aught I overheard at the tavern. So this was a beast-run kingdom that was uh, conquered, and they removed all iconography of the beast-run. That rings true. That sounds like a thing that would definitely happen. Oh god! What is he doing? Once again, this game only makes sense if you play as a cat, with how bizarre his movement is in this, like, 2006-ass Assassin's Creed character movement. Like, it only makes sense if he's just this, like, way-too-active cat. Poor Raj. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. And he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way out and put them up for me. All pretty like. I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. Oh, Rog, will I ever see your smile again? I suppose I can only hope. Okay. That's a lead. I will now rob her. As is my want. <laughs> as I always do. There's a flower bed on the edge of town. It is pointing me over there, so maybe it's just over- Ooh, don't die. Survive. 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 But also, don't waste my time. <laughs> Let me take the shortcut. <laughs> I did see all these bones and think it looks like a place that there might be... Come to think wolf of it, den. Some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such a reason dismissed me after only half a day of service. You only need more lines of dialogue. This is an age-old pet peeve, and people argue with me whenever I say it, but if they're gonna have so many different voice actors, why don't why not have them all say different things? Like, you made them all have different personalities and they clearly speak with different like vibes like Leon my, is, is calm used as a and his lines are very different from other characters I'm a lot of the time, we'll find a purpose for it in due time. so a line like oh, I was dismissed after only ha dismissed after only half a day of service like given how some of these characters are so abrasive and some of them are so calm and placid and have very different reactions why do they all say that line exactly the same way there are some, like, lines that it would be hard to, like, phrase differently for different personalities. Chest. But that I one take a look distinctly is, like, that's a complaint or a, a quirky observation, depending on how you look at it. And so different characters would muse on it differently based on their personalities. So all these different voices that are meant to be different uh, personality types of your character, like they should say different things in that situation instead of the same thing, is what I'm saying. It's weird that they all say it exactly the same way. That's how you get arrow to the knee and makes you wish for a nuclear winter, eh? And whatever the hell, and they told me the jet would give me the jitters. 
which is a persistent Bethesda problem that also that also includes uh, Obsidian's Bethesda-like Fallout game. And I just, I don't get it. I get that it's easier to write fewer lines and just have all the different people say it in a big batch. It just, it's the type of thing, if I was game director, <laughs> it's one of, it's, it'd be my fucking nitpicking thing that I would fixate on and it's like, no, that, we can't do it that way. It bothers me every time a game does it that way. Because hearing, to, uh, and this might be, oh god, that, that's the, that's an enemy. I didn't see them. It might, this might be exclusively me, be me, and maybe no one ever thinks about this ever, but like, Hearing one guy say the same line, like, ten times, isn't that distracting? Hearing ten different guys say the same line in different voices? Incredibly distracting. No Bizarre. Unhinged one. behavior. Over Super top. strange. I, I need to check the map. How far is it? That's the outskirts of town? Okay. Is an enemy it's pretty, it seems pretty far away. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. I turned the lantern on, it got dark. Yeah, when I hear one guy say the same line of dialogue multiple times, I'm like, well, there's only so much dialogue, and there's, there's gonna be repetitive barks, and you know what? Like, I played. I played Dynasty Warriors. I have listened to Zhao Yun say, Another warrior has fallen to my spear! Thousands of times. But it'd be weird if Zhao Yun said it. I mean, it'd be weird if, like, Zhou Yu said it. Or Sun Sang Xiang said, Another war- Another warrior has fallen to my spear! I'm like, what the fuck? Why'd they do that? They got a different voice actor in, and that character has a different personality. Why are they saying the same line? I meant Sima Yi. I meant Sima Yi in my breath, in my in my mind. I thought Sima Yi. I said Sun Sang Xiong, which is the lady with the with the disc blades, which would not sound like a snake person. <laughs> that was a goof on my end that I just caught up with. I've corrected myself for the three people that are in the crossover between. Uh, the Venn diagram of watching me run around as a half-naked furry and watching Dragon's Dogma and have played... Uh, oh, it's a lich! Uh, I'm gonna sword you in cursive! Sup? Boom. Oh! I'm fine. Weirdly didn't take fall damage from that one. You. Stop. Oh, I didn't attach. That's embarrassing. Um. Oh, I active. Oh, I switched it out to be the throwing people prompt. I was so confused. I was like, "What is my character doing?" Okay, okay, that's mapped to the stabby. Okay, I had to remember what. what I haven't. The masquerade ball made me forget what bu buttons I switched in. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Oh well. Big hit. Yes. All I know is that when they're down, the Y attack does a billion damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, let's get back up here so I can be a, a mean, mean boy at him. Uh, did I hit him? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, this looks, that feels so cool. 
big kill. What? Oh no! I, wow! I pre I stopped pressing buttons a long time ago, and he he was still going. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Ooh, Kraos Trine. I bet that is the type of staff I need for the quest. Yeah, I can now finish this quest. Probably, uh, vocation frustration. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll get to, we'll get around to that at some point. I'm probably never becoming a spellcaster because. I have a cosplay to commit to. So I want to use a giant sword. I'm especially amused that my giant sword is now in cursive. That's the funniest thing in the world to me. It's it's, it's italicized. <laughs> it's an italicized sword. Uh, did I finish the quest though? No. I thought we already established where he was, and that's why I came out here. Ah, bleh. My nearest flower beds? Ah, oxen. Tis best up. to leave harmless creatures be. I have picked up a bunch of flowers. But I have not found wolves. We ought to take a closer look. It might be because it's nighttime. Let's see. I, I got a little pick happy. Admittedly, may have lost the thread a little bit. It seems the Arisen enjoys traveling in the company of beastrons. Don't judge me. A little import. We shall serve the Arisen faithfully, no matter our race. Don't judge me for traveling with the furry squad. Let's see, I saw a bunch of glowing flowers and just rapid fire picked them all because loot, and then my brain forgot to them looking for those. Yep. Almost went off that cliff. I was about to say that I could rest till morning, but I actually don't think I have a camping kit. I started putting them away because they're too heavy and only carrying one. And then I think I have just not stocked up again for a while. Glow. Howdy. No skull. I think I hit his skull. Ah, part of me wants to play Dynasty Warriors again. Ooh, there's a token. I just, I, I put my time in. I have to stop. But then there's the part of me that has been launching vampire survivors in the evening lately and doing a run every now and then. And it's like, that's the same part of my brain that what used to play Dynasty Warriors too much. Right, I used to max out the entire roster and their stats. Ow. Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot. Because I'm basic and boring, Zhao Yun was my favorite character, even though he's the guy on the cover. I like Gan Ning and Zheng He. Also, once I, for a few years, I commuted with a, I commuted with a Chinese woman to, uh, to college, and uh, the time I talked about Dynasty Warriors, she just kept laughing at me because I was trying to pronounce these characters' names, and I don't speak Chinese. And also, the voice actors are wrong, too. <laughs> They're also wrong about how to pronounce the characters' names. And they name characters things like Cow P, and we just accept that. <laughs> Even though it's like Sal Pai or something like that. The fact that it took till like the sixth game to rename the, the leader of Wei to Cao Cao instead of Cow Cow is one of the funniest things. Unfortunately, they made the open world Dynasty Warriors, and I was excited about it for about 40 minutes. And then I came back to it, and it was immediately the most tedious slog that I've ever played. And I never played it again. And that's weird, because I'm Dynasty Warriors brained, and I'm like, yeah! 
but like having missions is actually kind of important to those games. Yeah, high five. I'm getting fulfillment that won't ever happen in real life. Like, it's really important to Dynasty Warriors to have the vibe of, I have an objective, I'm clearing this map systematically, uh, like akin to playing Minesweeper, and I'm comboing efficiently through all these mobs of dudes to feel like I'm like clearing out this stuff like in Vampire Survivors, and uh, I'm trying to complete these objectives efficiently, and I'm trying to stop the surprise ambushes that kill off certain characters, and you need the goals and pacing are really important to those games in a way that's under analyzed because everyone just says that they're bad games and moves on but for the people who like them there is like a reason why they're good at the time another token and that's really ruined by making them open world like most things most things being made open world makes them worse it's just a bad idea usually uh so the peak of all of dynasty warriors is to play Samurai Warriors 2? Samurai Warriors, Samurai Warriors 4. That's what it was called. Samurai Warriors 4 is the best game that Koei Tecmo, or I mean Omega Force, has ever made. Because Samurai Warriors 4 had the amazing system of letting you play two characters at once. And it also had the, the fun dashing system where you could clear out really weak units really rapidly by dashing around with, these, with this cool new combat system <laughs> while also having the optimization where you could call your horse and if you held down the horse button you would automatically mount the horse when he arrived and that is a thing every single game with horses needs every game with horses if they want me to actually use them because they're almost always more worth the trouble than they're worth i'm looking at you i'm looking at you zelda goddamn Bre breath of the wild and they're just unplayable horses being able to summon your horse from anywhere and hold down the button to automatically mount the horse when they arrive is just mandatory and we need to all catch up to Samurai Warriors 4. But what that game did that was so genius is that it gave you objectives that you couldn't re you could not reasonably solve on your own and they had you pick two characters and you would hot swap between the two characters the same way by pressing like back or something the same way that you hot swap between like the remastered and original graphics of Halo 1. So you would just seamlessly swap between two characters and you would you would specifically set them up to be on different parts of the map and so you would you would like tactful tactically like swap back and forth to accomplish your goals and it just felt really good. And it's like that was like the peak of their formula and they didn't see that seemingly because they immediately turned around and ruined everything that they were working towards. And a, and a franchise that got better sequel to sequel just Threw it out. <laughs> Skeleton. There. By his fury, shan't be of aid against this boat. Even the story was getting better in those games where they started combining them instead of doing the fighting game thing where everyone has their own campaign, they started combining them into an overall campaign, which is also what fighting games have been doing in recent years. And like that that worked so much better. It's like ah For us weirdos that liked Dynasty Warriors, things were looking up for a while, and then they made a terrible, terrible open world game, and then the, I think, I haven't heard of anything about the franchise since. Well, not having a lot of luck finding this kid. The point where I'm in podcast mode again. That's always a, that's always a sign. Perhaps it's time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Are you talking? Are you talking about how I'm carrying too much stuff? Uh, now it's your problem, Leon. God, why is the select multiple stacks thing not a button in every just all the time? They need to give you that button all the time. It's so good, but it's only usable when you're uh, ac accessing the stash. That's dumb. Don't be dumb. Be good. Be good, video game. It's right there. I gave you all the answers. Uh, do, 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 do. Lantern oil. Turn all my stuff into stuff before it dies of ill rots to nothing. Boo. And also because it usually makes me less heavy. You can make flowers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rich. All right, I'm 
down to average. That's not still not amazing. It's because of the meat. Here, you handle my meat. I know what I said. Oh yeah, the meat was very heavy. <laughs> just, just literally that meme of like... I suppose there will be it looks heavy, let me carry it for you. Pray, keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. Okay, so I don't suppose one of my companions has any idea where the uh, where the child went missing. The sun going down is not helping me much. Okay, I don't think that the crypt was the answer. <laughs> I'm worried I might be going too far out. I'm so tired. Let's stand still. Is this a bridge? There's a line on the map. There's a bridge down there. That's spooky. Safe. Wolves! That's a good sign. Oh, don't fall village. No. Almost had a bad time. Oh, there they go. But are these the wolves? <laughs> I don't know. What? Where'd you come from? Stop it. Ah! <laughs> Wolves, you don't get it. We already got the end of fight. Oh, I broke the bridge. This just became a me problem. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, uh, well, now you can make that jump. We're above the waterfall over here. Is that a secret token? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. They seem to have intentionally made it easier to find this stuff at night. By having it have a misty, weird cloud about it. Which really stands out against the nothing in the pitch dark world. I think I just got enough to get my uh, next ring. The one that's just blatantly Lautrec's ring. The ring of glory and val valor or whatever the fuck it's called in Dark Souls 1. The one that Lautrec drops and it breaks if you take it off. Okay, here's flowers. Oh! One second, I gotta climb up. Oh wow, his health is gone. Xanxus does not mess around. Okay, well he's not gonna get any closer. Yeah. There we go. Oh, big stabbies. The slight struggle here is that in a non-open world, Finding a bunch of wolves, and then after finding those wolves, immediately finding a big mini-boss guy would indicate to me I'm going the right way. And that the guy I'm looking for is nearby. Because it feels narratively impactful. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, this is escalating. This must be the right place. But knowing, knowing this game's open world, this is just noise. This might not mean anything. The wolves might not even... The wolves probably aren't the wolves I'm looking for. They're just also wolves. Stop it, no! Don't squeeze my men. <laughs> it's just smack, smack, smack. I 
ice blocks? Did you summon these with your spell? Do you summon ice blocks with that spell that I can throw? Wait, 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 who's that? Oh, it's just a beetle. That's good, though. I have not been finding a ton of these lately. Flowers. There are a bunch of picked flowers going this way. And there was the collapsed bridge, which could have been collapsed by that guy if this is a narrative thingy. Or this could be going nowhere. Oh! Someone's here. But is, is it a pawn or a character? Uh, oh! Ow. Uh, goo, goo. <laughs> uh, there's no... Let's see. Become drenched to get rid of it. That's it. You know, just water. You can't roll. Brutal. I unequipped my... I think I unequipped my just yell it off button. Yeah, I put ladder launch on. You're right, buddy. Are you a character or a pawn? That's a pawn, isn't it? I know precisely when a curative is needed, master. It's Geralt. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Of course, it's Geralt. Well, the sun's coming up, and so my failure is complete. You want that bug, though? Looks hard to reach. That looks really hard to a reach. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? All right. Uh, blue flowers. I am wondering about all the blue flowers that keep hinting everywhere. Is this a path? The fact that they're picked, like they're not giving me flowers. They're just they're just there. Makes me wonder if they're indicative indicative of something. I'm also just so far away from town that I don't particularly think I'm on the right track anymore. Sup! That was a miss. Yeah, I tried to block and there's no block. <laughs> I forgot. Get! No! Get! Get! Oh, he's dead already. Give me for being a burden arisen. Alright, so oh, this might lead to the bug, but at least probably leads to the chest. It's where I was. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can climb. Maybe I can climb this part. Uh, I swear I've failed to climb much easier looking things before. Bug, 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 bug. I expect this would fetch a fair sum at market. Uh, that sounds like another large thing that probably flies. I missed the bugs. There they are. Fitting reward for a rigorous search. Oh, it's the Lich King. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why is there a, a Dark Souls Black Knight just hiding in this tower? The Black Knight halberd. What do you? What do you have to, buddy? You right? You good? You guys... <laughs> AI! Ooh! Well, this makes this place seem oddly important. Like, is this a sword and a stone situation? 
or lady in the sword in the lake. It's just some fish. I'll put this to use. Ah! Not gonna lie, it's kinda hot to watch him just catch a giant fish with his bare hands. You're like, okay, man. <laughs> I miss most of my attacks. <laughs> I'll just grab this bark. It's important to be useful during combat. Ah, jeez! Got one that time. This is a neat class that makes you feel really cool and strong, but also it definitely feels like it's mostly built around being a monster hunter. Like, it's got the wacky, over-exaggerated, super slow moveset that feels like it's meant to fight dragons. So when the game hits you with very tiny dudes and you're supposed to fight those ones, that that gets awkward. Ooh. No! My berries! Oh, there's stuff down here too. Ah, a token. You guys can fight them, I don't feel like it. I'll go back to the scary guy in a minute. I just want to see if what this dead end was. Not live to regret this. I cannot fault your prowess. Perhaps you might join the fight yourself. Ow. Ow. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Alright. Big swing. Okay. I think the fire took them out. Mostly the sword, but eventually the fire. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so into the fact that there's just a bunch of apples up here, like... Gatherer brain just sees a bunch of nodes and is like, I gotta go there, it's important! This calls for a curative. Wait, this is cool. Do it! Uh, yeah! Nope, slide normally. There we go. Yeah! Rather thrilling. Yeah, of course it's thrilling. I'm gonna pretend that wasn't sarcastic. That's just a guy, right? Yeah, that's not a character. It just flew over me. That's terrifying. That could have just been a tree, though, because of how fast the sun moves in this game. Alright. Got a little off track there. Back to the scary giant man. Who was definitely just Arthas. Like, My we're blood. we're all in agreement this there. That was Arthas. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. We must remain vigilant. Oh, he's gone. Because the sun went up. Oh, something's around. 6,900! Nice! Okay, something has wings at least. Oh! Oh, it's like a worse harpy. Good! Good! Stop it! <laughs> oh god, wait, no. Uh oh. I'm unconscious? I don't look very unconscious. <laughs> Bye! I just knocked them both out of the sky with that. A wake stone. Um, let's go higher. I guess I lost that on the big guy fight. Bring up amplification. This does not go any higher. There is no roof. There is no siege weapon. I do not have a bow. You can do it, Leon. Take care where you place your feet. Leon! Help! I'm 
they're surprisingly resilient to getting shot in the face. <laughs> Leon, what are you pointing your what are you pointing your bow at? You're indoors. I cannot trust these AI to do anything, which is unfortunate because I have to as an extremely limited character. Oh, up. Oh. Come back. Yeah. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> Yes! Dead. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, our caster's dead. That's 50% of our ability to do ranged attacks. Music died. Alright, well I'll have to keep this tower in mind, because at some point I want to fight the horrible knight that was there, but... He's probably not a unique encounter, so I'll probably just find a different one. Oh, there's still something. We're still doing this. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Let's do this. Make a mistake. Uh-oh. Really thought you were coming. No! Oh no, my stamina. I forgot. No, I can't do anything. No, I'm completely frozen. Okay, finally. Galahad, I'm sorry. I'm coming. It's just every action I do takes 10 seconds. Ugh. No, yes. No, yeah, no, there, yes. I'm saved. Thank you, Arisen. Truly, this is the masquerade of video games. This fight, this game cannot tell if the fight is still happening or not. Let's see. I guess you're kind of a, like the other harpies. I should try to grab you if you come nearby and see if I can get up there. Where is he? Come here. Make a mistake, I dare you. Yeah, they're like a more beastly harpy. I don't think the other ones were as owl-like. I don't think I can really control it coming closer to me specifically. Oh, that, oh, that, I don't think I grabbed it. <laughs> I don't think it worked. <gasps> yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> well. I'm not sure how reasonable it is to accomplish that without the item that just lures them over and makes them kind of not be an enemy. Because there's an item that just summons harpies at you. And then they help carry you up to places that... that were the, and pretty much every hilltop seems to have either a token or a chest on it. Some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Where am I? Normal question. I'm like halfway back to the other town. That's a little worrying. Um. I have to have lost the plot at some point. I think I might need to go back and find the flowers that I maybe haven't seen for a while. They're kind of hard to see during the day. Oh, there's the headless beast run statue. What might that be? Let us ponder how best. Hello. Uh, who's that? That's probably just a pawn, right? Ooh. This brute has quite the temper. A settlement is just visible in the distance. May have new discoveries lying wait there. Token. Understood. No, come back. Hit, fall, pull, fall, pull. I don't think that works when I'm on the when I'm not on the ground. Oh, grab or something. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything at that point. Wait 
Fall over, fall over, fall over. Oh, I don't know. He doesn't need to fall over. He's dead. Well, loot his gooch. Yeah, this is... This... Wow, that's a big landscape, though. But, uh... I am surely off tar off track by now. Ah, I'll take that. We might find Think. a use for it. Yeah, it's just that's it's just some guy. Oh, there's another guy. There's a few of you. A fellow wolf head user. Yeah, I might want the game to make it... Oop, is my lantern still lit? Why do I have two lanterns? I might want to... I can't... Well, I don't think I have a camping kit, but I might want the game to become nighttime again. <laughs> Just so I can actually tell where these flowers were that I thought would be the path. Because it seemed like that was the hint. The last one I saw was up here, before the fire. There's some. There's some? Okay. This does feel like a video game path. This might be a thing. The hint that he tends a patch of flowers on the edge of town is still a bit of a leap to draw the conclusion, oh, follow any flowers you can see for a mile out of town. Because that's what a, somebody who tells, tends to flowers would do, right? They would just smear them across the entire landscape. Still trying to find the jadeite orb. I heard wolves, but they don't seem to be attacking, which is a great sign, because that means that they're story or they're story wolves. That tells me that's a scripted wolf noise to indicate you're in wolf area, because the story said that wolves did it. Or it might just just be these guys. Who knows? It's a roaring flame because I'm a tiger. Hello, bottom of that tree. <laughs> Unfortunate. Whoopsie. Flowers. Flowers. Cave up here? Oh, someone's fighting. Putrid cave. Flowers are inside the cave now? That seems impossible. But I think we're doing it. We're doing it. This, this kid's just actively being assaulted inside this cave by a pack of wolves that I took three days to follow him. <laughs> it's like, oh, the attack's in progress, like always. <laughs> Naturally, it just started, somehow. What's going on? How did I get here? I remember. The wolves. How is it I'm still alive? That's what I'm asking. You saved me, didn't you, sir? I... I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did Grandfather request your help? 
I suppose he must be worried sick about me. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Shall we report our results? Oh, we're just gonna head back? We're not gonna help the kid get home? <laughs> It'd be a pain, but... Honestly, it seems like you should have to carry this kid home. Instead of just having him fend his way across this landscape. It's been really dangerous. It's been a scary world this whole time. Well, alrighty, we did it. I can't believe that was correct. I did not believe. Ooh. I'll go and open the chest. Another fairy stone. I'll take that as a sign. <laughs> uh, I can't take a fairy stone back to where he turned this quest in, but I can... I can take it back to Vernsworth. And then I can unlock the new class because of the staff I got. Just to clear that quest out. And then I can take an ox to where we, we were. Arrived without issue. And that'll be fine. Do -do -do weapons... Yeah, the Kraos Trine. So that'll count as a staff. Safe here. Go under here. At this point, I just want to clean up my quest log. It's so, it's so busy. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a greatsword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Twould seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. So maybe now, now we'll be allowed to done. buy gear the for these the guild, sir. classes? I should be glad to assist you. Have you found any of the items we did? Five, damn. Okay, Ring of Triumph. Just per I don't remember what it was called in, in when Lawtrack had it, but it's fine. Did I level my thingy? I got a few more weapon skills. Raising sweep. Just does more damage. Kind of boring upgrades when they just do more. Yeah, but this one just makes the aggro stronger. Consumes less stamina. Yes! That's important. <laughs> yes! Savage Lash, that's the why. Knoll Breaker. It's gonna take him out of the knees. Oh wait, that was that looked like a groin stab. Thrust It is! <laughs> wait, no no. Thrust the blade upward, delivering a solid blow that can knock targets off balance and render them unconscious. Can be charged prior to unleashing. How is this different? Let's see. It seems like this just replaces Heaven's Word Sunder, right? It's also just a big swing above you, but this one does knock back and so on. Hmm. You got anything new, buddy? Not really. That's fine. All right. Come again. One new quest. One less quest to stack here. Blip. Ah. We're down to six. And two of them, at least two of them are just like, Check back on this guy sometimes. Wes. Uh, Ring of Perfusion. Carry weight. Yeah, Ring of Triumph should be strong. Amplification. Makes your healing stronger. Boost magic and magic defense. Alright, let's give this one to Leon. I'm more likely to stagger boosted strength. Mm. Staggers are pretty good. That might be worth more than having strength, honestly. I don't know. Equip to left hand. So I have 1174 health. It's just 100 more health. But it's a chunk more stamina, a chunk more equip load. I 
I don't know. This might be a noob trap. It's hard to say if it's worth it. A little tough to compare very different stats like these. Uh, right. And I want to equip you. Is it, just, is it hard to tell what he's wearing in that menu? Or is he not wearing it? Oh, is he not wearing any rings? Make your curing better. And I wanted to give you life leech. I just gave it to- I kept giving him rings and not equipping them on him. Whoops. Ooh. When did you get that? I need to check my stash to see if it has any of those. Shall we take a closer look? And to stash whatever else I've got. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to I will never stay at your place, sir. I'm sorry. I'm here to disappoint. You're just an easier to find version of this menu than going than finding my way back to my house. Where is the staff? Or does did he take the staff? I thought the premise of the problem was that that staff is usable to because I need to equip myself with a staff to get the class. Oh maybe the idea is that I'm given that weapon when I switch to that class. Or maybe I really do just have to go buy one now, despite having gotten one in the first place. Anyway, let's check withdrawal. I just want to see. Have our various NPCs ever found bugs and then dropped them in here? I don't see one. Okay, let's grab one of these packs. Most hospitality in all Vernworth. It's been a problem for a while that I don't have any packs. Do 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 do. It's uh, this is the everyone menu. You give. Leon. Crafting. Trying to eat into my weight because the crafted menus, the crafted stuff generally weighs more. Less. Less is the word. <laughs> Correct word. I don't know how I got a whole second lantern, but that eats into my weight. Soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the former. Sort by weight. Get out of here. Oh, the mask is half a pound. And I got all this heavy fish. See, I can't learn formless faints, so we'll put that away. That's too many flowers. Don't eat all these flowers. I have five wake stones now? Oh my goodness. Hospitality in all you know where to find. All of this gamer cannot be contained. Alright, let's see if this guy now sells other weapon types. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. I think that might be what it means. The Savage Fang. Yeah, so he used to cap out a bespoke bow and now he sells Savage Fang. So, he definitely sells more. Yep. Yup. Big two-handed swords. There's the Warblade. It's got a pick at the end. Brutal. The Steel Urchin, what a nightmare. But these are all weaker than mine. So I've successfully added these things to the old town just in time to be well past this point and not need to worry about that anymore. There's no reason to look at the bow they sell here because they definitely sell a better one at the next town. Because it would be... it would have parity with my current weapon Do come for my build. That's how that works in video games. I don't know if you've played a video game before, but <laughs> I've played one or two. 
Okay, so now we will ride our way back on over. And I will inform them that I found their kid, but also look for the Jedi Orb. Uh oh. He'll, he'll walk that one off, right? Oi! Oi! <laughs> God, it's so good. What a great attack. Anyway. Wait, not you. Other thing. Get up. So it's great news that I, that that attack just started using less stamina because we we discovered earlier that it's better than sprinting. So if it also lasts longer in addition to being faster, then oh boy. I'm slowly getting the equivalent of a horse. It's me. I'm the horse. Which honestly, ideal. If I can just play as a as a furry man that has that can just become his own horse, that's that's pretty good. That's one of the most inspired things that World of Warcraft has ever done, is that they gave the Worgen the ability to just transform into their own mount. So instead of having a mount, you would just fucking sprint on all fours across the landscape. And it's one of my favorite things that a game has ever done. Unfortunately, MMOs are so based around getting flying mounts now that that means the vast majority of your time playing the MMO, that ability is completely irrelevant because you need, you really want to be able to fly, and you can't fly as a organ yet. But if they want to give the organs magical wings while they're in the running mo mode, like the like the like the the monkeys from Wizard of Oz, then I would be happy. I can't see shit right now. But I don't feel like getting the lantern out. <laughs> this is a character flaw. Don't be like me. Honestly, it's the magician's fault for not having my weapon be made of fire. We would be invincible. Wagon? Uh I suppose there can be no harm in bring I'll carefully conserve my strength. I'm not talking to you. Wagon? Wagon? Where'd you go? Which way am I facing? Uh, I came from over there and I'm heading over there, so... It would be going in this direction. If it survived, I don't know. That ox cart looks kind of fucked up, like it might have been the wagon. I don't know. These like might be the people that were on the wagon? The question is, will it have despawned, or is it just going to be ahead of me? Alright, let's turn my lantern on. We're, we're past the point where it makes sense. Come on, then. Oh! I don't feel like fighting you guys. Bye! Look at me! Yes! I'm so powerful. Holy shit, that is a sprint. I just need to politely wait for my stuff to refill now. That's a wagon going the wrong way. I don't think that's my wagon. I just gotta sprint all the way there. At least I'm better at it now. Huh? What? Ghost wagon? Master, what? my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. This game has really intense poppin issues, but also it has ghosts. <laughs> and that is a confusing series of of things to get mixed up with each other. Anyway, I think I'm right back where I found the kid, so now I'm just running back as normal anyway. 
Womp womp. What is up with the ghost wagon? It was blue. That's the ghost color. When fire is blue, that means it's ghosts. <laughs> I do appreciate how fast this goddamn weapon goes. This is my mount now. This makes no sense, but it's just like the back dodge, the back dash in a uh, in uh, Symphony of the Night, where it's just like if you give somebody a slightly faster way of getting around and then huge high rule fields to walk down. Guess what they're going to start doing the whole game? Always worth questioning, are you better off just making normal running speed acceptable instead of making your players desperate to game the, the movement system? Because I watched Toaster play one of the really, really bad 3D Castlevanias, and that was even more egregious than Symphony of the Night, where it's just like, he was just blatantly doing like a really annoying looking jump thing constantly just to get around because the game just had these huge expanses of a 3D world to cover. Oh man. I don't want more dying wolf noises than I need. Why, why do you gotta chase me? I sure hope I'm getting closer. Actually, I should double check that I have the right quest selected because I have made this mistake before where I thought I knew what I was doing and somehow managed to get off track completely. Pray for the back, yep. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting there. It's just a road I haven't taken before. Ooh, bug. Right, I remember, ooh, oh, those are zombies. I remember now. It's because I've never walked here before. Intuitively, I figured the game would require you to unlock each town before you could fast travel there. But too much to my surprise, it has turned out that you can... Oop, what happened? Ah! But much to my surprise, it appears that the game will let you uh, fast travel to a town you've never discovered on foot yet. Okay, I gotta check this building out. It might be a thing. Boop! Ow? Ow? Ow! Wait, how much am I healing for? Okay, I'm good. I'm not good at this game's combat system. <laughs> oh, zombies. Yes, the launch! I love it. Launch party is a go! Is enemy. Ah! With those raiders too? How are the raiders and the zombies and the saurians on the same team here? How did, how did I get so unpopular? I know my cheeks are out, but we don't have to recreate the everybody's mean to me meme. That's a beast noise. Let's see. Not getting any higher up. Is that a mini boss sound? That'd be scaled. Oh, it's just a Saurian. Ah! Wow, I did a lot of damage for an attack that basically missed. There we go. 
There we go. Beautiful, stupid attack. I love it. Well, back to it. <laughs> Don't get in my way, you'll slow me down. Woo! Oh no! That's how you know you're moving at car speeds, is when you start splatting wildlife. Ah! How the fuck did you catch up with me? Hold back, and I will heal you with my magics. Wait a moment. Uh, they will follow me into town. Anybody else? Alright, hope your kid made it back. I didn't supervise him at all, and as you might have noticed, the landscape's scary. It's probably fine. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Grutel me. In your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offulv? I think that's Sonic the Hedgehog's name. He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post haste. And in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite Orb on my behalf? You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that, I can assure you. Sirs, a fool for never I'd each seek the Jadeite Orb. To whom ought we to grant it? Assuming we find the thing at all. I shall stand by you, Master. Whatever you decide. Most people are looking for it. I don't know if I know anything about these people enough to choose between them, but anyway, hey, you're Might kid. as well take a look while you're here, eh? Uh, are you not the guy who whose kid is missing? I thought it was this place. He sells extracts. Business could be better, but I've weathered worse. Many thanks. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just it's hope the, the shopkeeper understands. Right? Browsing was enough to scratch the itch. Or Morris, of, yeah, Morris, your your child's alive. Need anything? Morris, your child is alive. Business could be better, but uh huh. Stop by again soon. Morris. Might as well take a look while you're here. Stop Morris. By don't bug out on me. Here. I'm inside your shop now. Need anything? Morris! Many thanks. Why is this game like this? <laughs> I can't turn the quest in? Because Morris is a shopkeeper. Might Morris! As well take a look Morris, here, your child! Right? Stop by again Morris, soon. your child was dying. I've saved your child. That's what the quest says, right? Inform... Morris. Report back to Morris. Morris. It's him. Morris, see? It's him. Morris? Need anything? Morris, this is important. Stop by again soon. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's not a good sign. Anyway, I guess I'm looking for the Jade Hat Orb, and we'll see if this quest unfucks itself later. <laughs> Hi. Welcome, sir. Contrary to the name, this little shop of mine deals in naught but the finest treasures. This place where the Jade Hat Orb might be. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Eight hundred, eight thousand for a ferris stone discount. <laughs> Wait. 
This is a confusing state to be in. It's funny because it sticks out extra, doesn't it? Compared to my normal face. The Jadeite Orb. Worth the Noble's Ransom. Hope to see you again. Well. Scrap store. You can have forgeries made at the scrap store. Simply bring along an item you wish to have a duplicate of. Pay the fee and wait a few days for the merchant to complete your order. The forgery will be identical to the genuine article in appearance, but not necessarily shape its function. From time to time, the scrap store may have a selection of special finds available for purchase. If there is an item you have lost or discarded that you long to recover, don't lose heart. There is a chance that it may have found its way here onto the scrap store's shelves. The Jedi orb is safely in hand. So should I make a copy of it and give that to the other people and then everyone thinks they got it? I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. Valuables, Jade at Orb. 2,000 for a copy. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. The creation of a masterpiece takes time, sir. Hope to see you again. Okay, so they're gonna make a copy of it, and I guess I could hand it to both parties and double profit. But I might want to sleep for a day or something. Well, met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Need anything? Stop by again soon. So, how goes it? Ah. Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Not as yet. Very well. Pray continue your search. May it bear fruit anon. Need anything? Why? Peruse at your leisure, sir. Do I need to go all the way back and find the kid again? And escort them back here? Or can I use or if he died, can I use a wake stone to revive him at the local funeral place. Uh, I think the game hinted that there's only two places bodies are interned, one in each kingdom. So if I go back to the place where we, where the bodies are put, maybe I can save them. Reckon your road's been a long one. No use hiding it. I've seen my share of weary countenances. Trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here, at least. You'll find a bit of peace. We must rest. But for now, still... let's rest till morning and see if I can get the Jadeite orb. I don't know if I've parsed who these two factions are and who I should give it to. You got a thumb up and nothing, no money. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow, he, he traveled with Throbby. <laughs> uh. Safe and sound, and I dare say, wiser for my travels. Right, I was gonna try to find... I wanted to find the loincloth vendor to slut him up so that people will recruit him more when they see him at the store. It's a defense mechanism. It's marketing. Uh, let's see if they're ready with the Jedi orb. I would like to resolve this so I can think about fewer things. I'm so sad that the, uh... That person wasn't back. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy the creation of a masterpiece takes time so many times. How many time does it take? <laughs> okay, well, let's look for the dead kid. Times like these I could I could just use a little more clarity of what the game's doing. It's just moments like that where I'm like, if the game says time to report back, that tells me I'm done. Not escort the child back to his father. Even the child was like, bye. <laughs> Which isn't helpful. Like the kid wasn't like, please, kind sir, can you escort me back to my my father? I'm gonna die out here. He was like, I'm gonna leave now, is what he said. <laughs> he didn't, like, so it further implies he's not an agent in the narrative. I just, I don't know. I regularly can't tell what quests want from me. And I feel like I have to do a lot of guesswork. Is this the kid again? 
day. How is this child in every town? She moves around more than I do. I'm inclined to think that the child might be dead because his dad has was previously going like, Please, you've got to go save my son! And he wouldn't be a shop. And now he's a shop. Which seems to imply the quest is just dead. Oh, sir, if you please. No, please, I'm trying to solve what I'm doing now. Pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Might I beg a moment of your time? My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Oh, thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. Okay, she's leaving, so it's not a follow her situation. Especially when she disappears like that. Okay, that's good. I don't have to deal with that right now. Yeah. Okie dokie, so this leads up to... Wait. Yes. Right? Yes, this side. That one's the jail, and I think this one was the... Was because I discovered this while I was trying to find that one kid for hours. Ironically, another child. This is the lower entrance to the place where all of the people be killed. I don't need to. I don't need to search this whole place. There's a secretary or mortician, I guess. And then there's a. I remember there's a find body button. It is here that the bo I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among the dead. Okay. Your patronage is. So it seems he's not dead. Maybe the quest is just bugged. Mine is I don't know. This is how the whole playthrough started. Is the at the beginning of the game? There's a they, a guy is gonna take you to the capital. And then I immediately lost that guy. I immediately lost that guy because I tried to find chests and stuff like that. Because, like, the game gives you a bunch of exploration to do and things on ledges. That guy, like, I think he fell in water and died or something. I don't know. Or he, like, or his AI bugged out and he lost me. And I just never saw him again. So when I arrived in town, I didn't have the papers to get in. But then I got arrested because I tried to sneak into the slums. And that... That was like a fail state that saved me and brought me to the guard guy anyway. So I may have killed this kid. Or just lost him. But I don't feel that bad because the game... Just... You can't tell what it wants from you. It's just so strange. Let's see. Where did I lose him? A putrid cave? Is that the one? It might be the putrid cave? Yeah, I think this is the cave that the kid might be in if he reset. Because you also might need to just check again and find him again. I don't know. I might just give up on this quest, but that would make me sad because I did spend the last like 90 minutes on it. It is all that I have done for the last like two hours, but every single quest in this game is out to get me lately, so who knows. Uh, which, which, bleh, bleh, ah, bleh. no, yes, yes, this one, okay. Mm, the closest town to it is still the other town. Even this place isn't closer. Especially if that's a broken bridge there. Dead on my feet. Do I check? Okay. It's, I could try looking for this kid. If I take the oxen back to that town, then run along the roads that I just ran down again. This is just a thing that I'm doing all day. 
I'm being I'm feeling bullied by this game's quest design. Nope, they're not taking off. On some level, I see it as like, at the bare minimum, these quests could just have the good, the good decency to fail, so that I'm free of them. <laughs> but the fact that they don't fail, I'm like, oh, okay, gotta figure it out. <laughs> One way or another, there's gotta be a solution, right? Uh, if I'm really lucky, I'm nearby. Nope, we overshot it. Let's see. Good. Are we leaving already? Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Don't know what they were attacking. <laughs> This small rock has tripped me. Please, everybody, have you seen a small child? I keep tripping on rocks. I'm going the right way, right? Yep. I should just put a uh, marker on that. Oh, I didn't. I never recovered my stamina. I'm goofing it. That's the tower that had the the weird enemy in it. This way. Uh, hello, Dark Souls Two mascot. Okay, guys. Don't recommend taking this fight, if I'm being honest. Oh god. D oh, did I hear a child? I can't tell. There he is! The child! We did it! Ow. All the wolves are back. His survival is even more nonsensical, because he's still in the same cave, and the wolves are back again. That was a big sounding thing. What was that noise? Ah! I know it's a cliche to want a, a lock on system, but it would do wonders for being able to tell where the enemy is that's attacking you sometimes. I lose them so much in the foliage and darkness. Allow me. Wait a moment. Got to keep it together. This fucking child. <laughs> oh, he's gonna try to get off of me, isn't he? I wish characters would just let you carry them. He's struggling, which means it's gonna suddenly throw him. That's what happened to the scholar earlier. Is it, sure it, we'll find it suddenly threw the scholar and he like bloodily bashed into the stairs. I'm like, no, I'm trying to escort you. I'm carrying you out of jail because you're a frail, tiny old man. Why can't you trust me? <laughs> I 
There's enemies here. We gotta get out of here, buddy. Don't fight me. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Fuck you. Gah. This is gonna be a long trip. I don't suppose I can, like, get the kid to ride a wagon. <laughs> it just keeps working. Sometimes it starts to feel like when you're you're Lucio and you just camp one cliff and you just keep knocking people off and they keep not learning. When you just get away with the same charge attack over and over again. The roads are hardly safe. Careful now. Your ox cart? Oh, my ox cart, because I didn't protect it, I guess. Listen, I wasn't being paid to defend these things. I was just a passenger. I didn't abandon shit. <laughs> they literally have their own guards. I actually kind of appreciate that. It's like a... This, this whole game is crunchy as fuck, and that's a, like a lot, a lot of it's designed to be really crunchy. And, uh, and, oh god. Okay, we're gonna get past this guy. Please, don't, just don't fight me, kid. We need to get past the monster. Uh-oh. No, kid, why? It's the worst possible place for you to drop. Or maybe it's my stamina. Oh, because we're going uphill, so my stamina's fucked up. Kid, why are you walking towards it like you're gonna fight? Kid? Child. The fuck are you doing? Okay, if I don't run, my stamina doesn't go down. This child was approaching the monster like he's gonna punch it. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. You. This child is suicidal. They need to stop. Yeah, so much of this game is really crunchy and awkward and like like and I mean like not in the the where the part where the quests don't make sense, but in the sense like a bunch of the narrative feels like it's designed to uh, a bunch of the mechanics designed I uh, feel like they're designed to have a lot of friction to them. And I think that's very intentional for a lot of this stuff. This the, the bridge I broke is back. But then you get the stuff like that and I'm like, "Ah, it's disguising itself as being a pain in the ass, but it's actually really helpful. The fact that the fast travel system can be interrupted midway through gives you a chance to stop midway through, which is probably half of your destinations. Yeah, at least the kid decently keeps pace. Remember when we were here? I was ranting about Dynasty Warriors. No, not harpies. Oh god. Come make a mistake, I dare you. Nope, I'm just gonna die. Yep. Oh no, I've fallen over. What's gonna happen? I <laughs> just immediately back to being asleep. Well, they don't do much damage. They can't take much either. Where's the child? Okay. Done, they worry me. I've invested too much at this point. You need to make it. <laughs> Reward frustratingly so. 
It will find a use for it. Double kill. Yeah, ow. Oh, these are enemies. Get flung. Nope. Oh, we did that one. Yeah, he's got it. Nope, there's still a guy. Look at him go. Oh, surprise enemy. <laughs> that harpy really failed for no reason, just flew directly into attacks. Suspicious exploding carts. Wait, what? That's not an enemy. <laughs> it's just auto auto. If I look, hang on a minute. I made it horrible. <laughs> it's fine. Just sometimes you, you, uh, you're stimming and you murder someone. To harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now <laughs> and use them when the need arises. I think I'm breaking a little bit. It's falling apart. <laughs> Fine, no one saw that. No one saw that. Yeah, the ox made it just fine. I don't know if any of their passengers survived, but... Come on, child. Don't get lost again. Now this child, they have cardio and a death witch. Whatever am I to do? See, it says you escorted Raj safely back to town, but it never had the quest objective escort Raj back to town. See, there's a there's a step missing. They just had why didn't they I don't understand. Raj? Raj! Is that you, my boy? Hello, grandfather. Tis a miracle! You're alive and in one piece! Oh, joy of joys! I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Grandfather, you're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you worried me half to death. I'm very sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. And you? Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. Pray, take this. Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to your kindness, but I hope you will accept it all the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you for saving me. Eleven grand and some healing worthwhile. items. And some experience. A job well done. I had to... Long as I live, I shall ne'er forget this. I... I bet you don't give me a discount, though. I, I bet you don't. I shall... Oh, I, you're just not a shop anymore. Long as I live, I shall okay. <laughs> There'll be a shop tomorrow again, probably. When you remember. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then but the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Hope to see you again. Okay, now I have two jade orbs, so I can give both parties one of them. But I don't know who they are very well. Let's see if the quest log says anything about them. It's not usually very helpful, but... It seems not one, but two individuals seek the Jadeite Orb. After conferring with someone apprised of illicit dealings, you learned that you might find the Jadeite Orb in at Abram's scrap house. V. Oh, this was a guy that info dumped on me up front and he was like, truthfully, I was trying to sell it so I could escape. Because he's got a horrible life, right? Something along those lines. I probably wanted to give it to him and give the fake one to his owner so they don't, so they stop pursuing him. 
It's like his boss or owner or whatever. He looks evil. He's probably the bad guy. We should probably give it to Ophel V. Ophel V the Hedgehog. Hello. There you are! Pray, tell me. Have you found the Jadeite Orb? A genuine article. Oh, thank you, thank you! Now my freedom is assured. Pray, take this. A note isn't much, but I've naught else to offer. Right, I'd best get going. Sir, though we may ne'er meet again, know that I shall remember this kindness as long as I live. Farewell. There we go. I was able to remember the context originally. See, that's a good example I hope of why. Sir, I... a fool shall lead a life free of cares now that we have released him from his shackles. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. That's a good example of why I try not to pick up a hundred quests, is because I'll forget the context for them. So that's why I kept like get arriving here on Ox, then just running away. I'm like, I don't want to go into this town. I don't want them to dump quests on me because I'm I need to keep track of the current ones. And then two people dumped quests on me before I got a chance to leave. I'm like, no. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Why do you sell a mask of your own people? At least this one's like a crazy monster mask. The hood of non-entity. The mask of concealment. Sounds kind of wild. A hooded mask resembling the mine of a wrathful beastron. Worn to conceal the wearer's intent as much as their features. How a human can pass as a beastron. Is there an... Is there a part where the humans need to infiltrate as a beastron? Potentially? Uh, you cannot hear- it's impossible to be tarred when you're wearing this. Okay. Pairing that with the impersonating somebody else's race well, mask is an interesting choice for a store to have. That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource best- So, how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Here's the forgery. Ah, splendid. You've my thanks. Before we discuss your reward, however, there is one final matter to which we must attend. You see, in my line of work, trust is paramount. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. Uh-oh. Come. I trust old Ibrahim's eye most of all. Let us pay a visit to his little scrap store. Follow my lead. Uh, well, he made it. Is he gonna out himself, or is he gonna be? Is he gonna, he's gonna have my back, my very curvy back? Are you lost? He's very insistent that you follow his lead. Not much has changed since I was a girl. Good day, Ibrahim. Would you be so kind as to examine this Jadeite orb? Now, I have a bit of business to attend to while he performs his appraisal. I ask that you await my return here. Uh... What is it? The appraisal's not yet done, and I must needs concentrate. <laughs> What's this for, then? That shan't get you anywhere, I'm afraid. Sir Everard's paid me quite a sum to handle this appraisal, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> throw money! You're a persistent one, aren't you? Gold, all well and good, but I shan't risk my business for a full pocket. I've my future to think of. You made it, though. Heavens fend. That's more than I can refuse. Very well. I'll do as you bid, but I shan't be making a habit of this. Oh, I just paid him like ten grand. This can't be worth it. There's no he way this is worth it. to be finished by now. Come, let us go see. He better be you paying me a lot. You have done your title proud, Arisen. This Jadeite Orb is indeed the genuine article. My partners shall be most relieved to hear of its return. You have certainly earned your reward. I trust you will find it satisfactory. 
And I do hope you will permit me to call upon you again, should. 12 grand, I made almost no money. With this, Sir Afuld can buy his freedom. But part of me is shamed for the disservice we have done Sir Everard. Eh, fuck him. I think I made one grand. Maybe it's a good ring? Skullduggery. Increases damage dealt when attacking foes from behind. I don't know if I'll ever use that. <laughs> it's just so funny, you could just keep shoving money at him. I got really nervous. I'm like, what if this doesn't end well at all? Uh, I made basically no money, that's unfortunate. It's it's absurd that I had to... Know what to make of this outcome. Let's see. I think I lost money. I lost a thousand gold, didn't I? So I spent... Because I had to pay him two thousand in order to make the... the uh, the counterfeit in the first place then i had to pay him like eleven thousand to not tell on me for use it for telling him to do that which is a little annoying but whatever no more i don't have any more quests here right now so i might go back to the manor to talk to that one Shall we visit lady the manor as the maid bid follow me i will guide you to the location I don't know is yours. if on. it is in any way useful for me to actually have that ring as this character, because I don't know how often I ever get a chance to attack from behind. The question is how much it works against and uh, against boss fights, I guess. Hmm. Is Leon smart enough to try to use it on purpose? It's worth trying at least. Because Leon just is always shooting dudes while we're while other people are fighting them. Alright, let's see where this goes. Because I haven't been up here yet. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. This guy sounds so bitey with his voice acting. He sounds sarcastic and irritated in like a way that it just constantly reminds me of Yahtzee Krishaw. There's like a specific way that he will end individual lines that I'm like, that that's reminding me of that. It's not the same pitch. Note left by a border checkpoint soldier. As a general rule, entry permits are not to be reissued. However, reissuance may be considered under the following circumstances. If the applicant is a bistron, if the cargo bears some relation to the research library. All right, well, I'm a bistron, so the end. I'm just allowed to go this way, it seems. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. I follow my winds, wheresoever they may lead. Well, alrighty. Maybe it's time to get to the beast run half of the game. Mm -hmm.